Okay, so I'm in the middle of a Terret 650 Sport build right now, and I just thought I'd do a quick little video on how you can extend the arms of this drone, and for any drone really, especially the Terrets, it's super simple. And I was looking around and there wasn't much about how to do it, and so it's really straightforward, and I'm gonna give you a quick little overview on how you can do this. So what the Terret 650 or any Terret comes with, you know, is typical carbon fiber arms. And that's all they are, just carbon fiber so, uh, tubing with a bracket put on. So all you need to do is go ahead and buy some longer tubing. That's literally it. So you need to buy some longer tubing and I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this. It's, you can find it on Amazon, you can find them on Alibaba, you can find this really anywhere. and what you want to do if you're going to want to try to fit 17 inch props, which is what I want to do, uh, I will show you how you can go about doing that. So first, buy the material. Pick you up some of these. I got a few more and I got another one sitting over there on the drone. All right, just to quickly show you the specs of this carbon fiber tubing, I'll measure it. And it's 16 millimeters, you can see there. And then the interior is 13 millimeters. And then the length I bought was 500 millimeters. So quite a bit longer and I'm going to be doing some cutting, but obviously it's like double the length of what this is, right? So I wish I could have just bought like a 300 millimeter uh, length and that would have done the trick, but they only came in either 250 or 500 millimeter lengths. So I had to get four 500 millimeter lengths and then I will cut them to size. Next, you're gonna need to map out how long the your arm needs to be. So for me, what I've done is I've bought my 17 inch props and put one arm on there. And now it's just a matter of marking and cutting where it needs to be cut. So the key to this is you obviously don't want your two blades touching. So you, because these come so long, one thing you can do is just make sure that you never cross the halfway point, right? So if you go out like this, you don't ever want your blade to touch the halfway point. So theoretically, the other blade would be right about there if we were to put this, cut it like that. And then, you know, obviously you want to give yourself some space from the actual frame of the drone. So there's a variety of different types of motor mounts that you could potentially have on your build. Um, for example, these are the ones that come off the Terret 650. These are the ones that come off of the Terret Iron Man, I believe it is. And these fit right on top of the carbon fiber arm, whereas the ones on the 650 Sport actually go on to the very end and they extend your arm. This right here, if for your build, is gonna be different, the length. I'm going to be using these, so I'll measure accordingly, keeping in mind that you will be adding this bit on the end so you can actually connect it. So we're going to have to, you know, unscrew this and put it on the end once you get it cut. But it's pretty safe to say that wherever the hole is that you will be putting this arm into via this bracket, you can basically just make a mark and cut right there. As long as you feel comfortable with your alignment, you set this up. You're not touching the middle, you're not touching the anywhere close to the, the frame itself. You're giving yourself an inch to an inch and a half all the way around. And they all should be exactly the same length as you probably have guessed. All right, so let's go ahead and etch a small mark into where we want to make our cut. We can zoom down in here. You can't see, but underneath there, there is a hole, which is where I will be using that bracket to mount. So I'll take a good look. Just 
put a little line there in the carbon fiber. Nice little dent on your new carbon fiber or scratch. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and actually put it on the other side. And make sure that this way, you know, this is the back or this is the front of the, the copter, but just you can make sure that you know, the front and back should be the same. And the reason I'm doing this specifically is because I have a hard top that will go here. And I just wanna make sure the front and back are a little different, so I just wanna make sure nothing ends up hitting it. All right, got this put in the vice grip. Got my mark right here, and just wanna make sure you cut it really straight. All right, got them all cut. And uh, from here, I wanna file down the ends a little bit because you can see here, there's just a little jagged pieces hanging off from where I cut. So what you're gonna wanna do is just file down the ends if you have a file. If not, it's not that big of a deal. You can see the ends get much smoother. So I'll do that on all these just really fast. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna need to drill the holes for the mounting bracket. So we're just gonna drill a hole straight through each end of each arm. All right, if you have a drill press, that would be easier, but I don't. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. So I'm just slipping this on the end find the right drill bit. Uh, obviously you wanna make sure it can go through the old hole on the old arm. And go ahead and try to drill that. Okay, so the first hole's an easy one. The best thing to do here would be to rotate, let's see. Rotate this around until you match up the hole. And I'm doing it on the non-threaded side. That way I don't mess up any of the threads. But then just match up the hole here and then puncture one in there. So as you can see, if I push this in, it's the one I already did, so that's all lined up. Let's do this one. All right, so you're gonna wanna put your screw back in. It might need a little force there. Let's see. And if you can see, not very well. It did go through just fine. Just like that. So, there's an arm. Okay, so here we have it. All done and ready to be put on the Terret 650. Uh, you can see I gave myself an extra about inch, inch and a half, I'd say. And if you wanna follow along to the actual build of this, please check the um, link in, links in the description if the videos have already come out, I'll put them there. If they haven't come out, please subscribe and you'll be subscribed to when they do come out. I'm building this entire drone, obviously extending the arms of it, putting a Pixhawk 4 on it, and I'm gonna be using a Tattoo battery, 10,000 10, milliamp hour battery, see if I can uh, actually get some decent flight time out of it. So. Subscribe, like if this helped you out, and good luck.